Hey everyone, welcome to Encore. This is Corin, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make press on eyeshadows. What? Yeah, you heard it right. Press on eyeshadows. Now, when I was traveling um, in Australia, I actually uh, saw this product. Uh, it wasn't that popular back then, but I thought it was such a cool idea. And, uh, but they only had like certain colors and certain designs, so I wanted to be able to do something that, uh, that's a little bit more artistic and probably a little bit more fun. So I decided to make my own press on eyeshadow. And it makes a great gift for somebody that you know that doesn't know how to do eyeshadow makeup design. So I'm sure you all have friends that are like that. So anyway, um, here it is, I'm going to show you. They're eyeshadows that are pressed into foam strips that you can apply on just like a transfer. And it'll, it's, it's already pre-designed and whatnot. And this is the specific one that I'm going to be teaching you how to make. And this is kind of like that creased, smoky look. And uh, if you're interested in how to make this, keep on watching. B Okay, here are the materials that you're going to be needing in order for you to make your own press on eyeshadows. You're going to need some white foam sheet that you can buy at a craft store. I got mine at Michael's for about 69 cents for a long sheet. This is a long sheet. And uh, these are just the rubber foam sheets that um, kids use um, at school for doing craft work. I'm also going to be using pigments and I chose to use teal, melon, and vanilla. And these pigment pigments are from MAC. I'm also going to be using a plastic dish and this is actually just a yogurt lid and I'm also going to be using a two inch diameter um, cap that I'm going to use as a pattern for a circle and this is actually just from my spice bottle which is this one so um, just take the cap off a spice bottle just like this one and it's perfect size you're also going to be using a dense brush all right with the dense bristles and if you have a MAC 228, that's comparable to this brush. But I like using this brush for this project. So if you have a, a, a MAC 228, go ahead and use that. Uh, you're also going to be needing a scissor, some alcohol in a dropper bottle, just like this. And I use 91% alcohol because they dry faster than the 70%. You're also going to be needing some measuring spoons. And they come in different sizes, but we just need the smallest one, which is the smidgen and it's basically just a little scooper measuring spoon just like this one and that's pretty much all you're going to need for this project okay so we're going to begin by making the backing of our press on eyeshadow we're going to use our foam sheet and we're going to use our spice jar bottle cap and we're going to draw two circles so use a pencil and just line around the circumference of the cap just like so. We're going to make two and the lines doesn't have to be really neat because you're just going to cut them and just like that now we have two circles we're going to pick up our scissors and we're just going to cut around the line and due to time constraints, I already pre-cut two circles. And I'm just going to lay it out on my work board. Just like that. And we're going to move on from there. Okay, next pick up your ruler and just go ahead and place that at the bottom edge of the circle. And you can mark that with your finger and guide the ruler. And what we're going to do is we're going to line the other edge just like that. And don't think this is halfway, it's not. We're actually creating two parts. So just cut that 
and you're going to end up with one part that's bigger than the other and we're going to use the bigger part. So go ahead and set aside a small part because we're going to need that later and do the same thing to the other circle. Okay, once you cut the other circle, now you have two half domes with, uh, we're saving um, one of the smaller domes because we're going to use that and we're going to um, put some alcohol in our plastic dish just a couple of drops we're actually just sanitizing it and uh, just use some napkin or paper towel and uh, just wipe the alcohol in the dish just like that 